Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT200 Pro 200 Watt Automatic Antenna Tuner. The AT200 Pro is one of LDG's most feature packed tuners, so this video series will help you get the most out of everything the AT200 Pro has to offer. Before we show you how to install the AT200 Pro, let's take a brief tour of its features. The AT200 Pro front panel features two LED bar graph displays that show power and SWR levels, as well as report the operating status of the AT200 Pro. Eight front panel buttons allow you to control the functions of the AT200 Pro. A power LED indicates that the AT200 Pro is active. On the rear panel, the TX-SO239 connects to your radio, and there are two antenna jacks. The AT200 Pro has a built-in two-port antenna switch. Here is the DC input jack, and this jack provides integration with ICOM and Yaesu radios. Next, we'll take a look at how to install the AT200 Pro. Installation is quick and easy. First, turn off your radio. Next, connect a coaxial cable jumper from the antenna jack of the radio to the TX jack on the AT200 Pro. If your radio has more than one antenna jack, connect the cable to the antenna 1 jack. Connect your primary antenna's coax feed line to the antenna 1 jack on the back of the AT200 Pro. If you have a second antenna, you may connect its feed line coax to the antenna 2 jack. LDG recommends that you also connect your AT200 Pro to station ground using the wing nut marked ground shown here. Connect the supplied DC coax plug to the DC power jack and connect to a 12 volt DC supply. The center pin is positive. We'll show you how to hook up the ICOM and Yesu cables in a later video in this series. We're now ready to begin using the AT200 Pro. Turn on your radio and push the power button on the AT200 Pro to turn it on. Press the antenna button to make sure you are transmitting on the desired antenna port. The LED display points to the selected antenna. Next, press the function button followed by the C down or auto button to make sure that the tuner is in full automatic mode. The LEDs will blink in the center to indicate full auto. If not, you can press funk and C down again. Now that the tuner is in full automatic mode and the desired antenna is selected, simply transmit. And if the SWR is too high, the AT200 Pro will automatically begin tuning. On sideband and AM modes, keep talking while tuning. Continue transmitting until the tuning cycle is done. The LEDs will cycle to the middle to indicate a match. The first time you tune on a particular frequency, it may take a few seconds to find a good match. After that, however, the next time you tune on that same frequency, the AT200 Pro will recall the tuning settings from memory instantly. That covers the basic installation and operation of the AT200 Pro. Stay tuned for advanced operations and interfacing to ICOM and Yaesu radios.